All right, let's do another character, and this time we're going to draw a woman, hero type. Now, I'm going to start with an egg shape. Now, follow along. This is a little tricky, but if we take it step by step, it'll work out fine. Now, she's got a narrow chin. We're going to taper that. A little like a guitar pick here, too. Now, remember, this is a three-dimensional object. Not like a guitar pick is very flat, isn't it? If you look on the side, it almost disappears. But we're going to think of this as a three-dimensional object, like a balloon or an egg. I'm going to put the guide line in like that and then wrap it around. Now, you see that? This way it looks like it's turned a little bit, doesn't it? Now, she's going to be looking over her left shoulder. So let's put some more guidelines in here. This will be for her nose. Her mouth will be down here. Maybe some lines in here for her eyes. Now, I'm going to switch to marker. All right, now, for her nose, start with those guidelines crisscross. and put a little line like that, and then I'm going to leave a, a space and put a heavier line there for her nose and then a nostril over here. Maybe come back a little bit, but I don't want to fill it in necessarily because that's not important. We want to keep it real delicate. Now, over here, I'm going to have her upper lip. She's going to have a serious expression. Now, for her lower lip, now watch. I don't have to connect it necessarily. I want to bear down on that marker and get a real nice thick line. Now, that creates like a, a dimension, like a shadow for her lower lip, like it's coming out a little bit. Okay, now over here, we're going to draw her eye. I'm bearing down again. So I'm using the art tool to my advantage here. I'm going to put a circle in for her eye. Same thing over here. All right, now, this time I'm going to squeeze that pen back. When I say squeeze, I'm going to lift it up, kind of pull back, and then just let that point touch the page, and I'll get a real thin line for her eyelid. See this? Same thing over here. Now, while we're over here, let's bear down and give her some eyelashes. Now, over here, I'm going to give her some eyebrows for expression. Again, I'm bearing down for the front part and then coming back. All right. All right, now for the side of her face, we're starting at her eyes and give her a cheekbone and stop. Then come down again and give her a strong but delicate chin and come back for her jawline and a line like this for her cheek. See how that kind of suggests a rounded object there? And what we're going to do now is give her a mask. That's right. Go right over that whole face and come around. Perfect. All right, now we're going to give her a, maybe a headband, and I'm going to switch markers for her hair because I want some real bold strokes. So this is a wider tip marker. Now, her hair is kind of a heart shape. It comes all the way around like this. Maybe a circle there for an earring. Another one there. Some hair coming out this way. And coming around this side as well. And now this line here is for her neck. Now, like we did with the hero, with the evil villain, we're going to double this chin line a little bit and come up and then fill it in because that will be casting a shadow. And that gives it a little more dimension. And here's her shoulder, and she's looking over her shoulder at us. And there it is. Came out pretty good. Put a line up here for her forehead. Okay. Now I'm going to erase the pencil lines and add some color. Now, a good way to find models for your characters would be look through a magazine. That's right. Look through a magazine and look at all the people there are in ads. Just ordinary people. And by dressing them up with uh, the appropriate costume, different hairstyles, you can get a whole different array of characters. Put some yellow in for her mask. Use celebrities. You can use ordinary people. Of course, supporting cast of characters, you need them too. Now I'm going to use a little red for her lips. And leave a little white space on the bottom lip there. That's good. A little red over there and maybe some blue for her eyes. And for her hair, I'm going to use orange, bright orange. This bright orange color stick here. Yeah, that brings it out. And we're coming down here and maybe a little red for her headband. And for her collar, and a little blue for the background. And she came out to be a great type. All right. Came out nice. I like that. 